Dick Grayson is back in Bloodhaven and he has himself a whole laundry's list of villains who are looking for his head. What will happen next? Well, let's hop into the pages of Nightwing issue number 87 and find out together, shall we? So then, now that the events of Fear State are thankfully far behind, as Dick Grayson has returned home to continue his good work of enriching his community with his newfound fortune. Of course, in a city as hopelessly corrupt as Bloodhaven, trying to uplift communities makes you a lot of enemies from the type of people who would rather continue to profit off the suffering. People like Blockbuster who have dispatched an entire hit squad to take Dick Grayson out. Yes, that's right everyone, they're gunning for Dick Grayson this time around and not Nightwing. Another thing you'll probably notice about this issue right away is that they do a lot of cool stuff with the art. Redondo here plays a lot with composition, page layout, and basically what we're treated to is an adventure where Nightwing is in his own side-scrolling video game going from one end of the screen to another. It's very clever. It also does a great job serving to illustrate just what a diverse community Bloodhaven is. We get to see sides of it in this issue that we don't normally see. Nightwing's actually made a lot of good friends in the community too. A nice Samaritan offers to give Nightwing his motorcycle so he can use it to chase down the fleeing gunman. Dick Grayson may have survived the attempt on his life, but unfortunately being such a public figure now means not just him or in the crosshairs of these thugs. Dick's apartment was plastered all over the news when he had his big press conference there a couple issues back and now his silent burglar alarm has gone off, meaning these guys are ransacking his place too. Barbara isn't there at the moment, but Haley, his brand new adopted dog, aka Bitewing is, meaning with no other options, the bad guys decide to dog nap her. Nightwing himself even admits that villain stealing dogs is a cartoonish level of villainy that even he is not well acquainted with. Luckily with Batgirl's help, they're able to track these guys back to their lair and team up to take them all down. We even get a fun little bit of perspective where they come closer to the reader than they have all issue long. All of this naturally leads to a big old standoff between the good guys and the bad guys leader wherein the dog ends up tumbling out a window forcing Nightwing to go after Haley. It's during this moment inside Dick's inner monologue we hear his brand new mission statement. He says that back in the day him and his parents used to fly through the sky with such reckless abandon. It was after that day Dick swore to be the one to catch people when they fall, but he wants to do so much more than that now. He wants to uplift Bloodhaven. He wants to, well, help everyone soar, just like him. And it's on that note right there, as Owner and Pat are finally reunited, the perspective changes back to a regular comic book as it all comes to a close. And so that was Nightwing issue number 87, everybody. A fun, creative little palette cleanser to get us all back in the Nightwing mood following Fear State. It's nice to see Redondo, the artist, actually get a writing credit on this issue too because let's face it this was a very art focused art heavy issue where it did do most of the story heavy lifting beyond that I really don't know what else to say Nightwing under Tom Taylor continues to be fun exciting and the promise of the future is bright as well just you know let's maybe hope in 2022 the pacing doesn't totally get kneecapped to go get involved in another Batman event I know it's probably gonna happen anyway but I can dream right overall I'd give this one a very positive 8 out of 10 Hey there everyone, it's your old pal Cape Jewel again, thanking you so much for watching to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, why not check out my Amazon link down in the description. Yes, that's right, the Cape Jewel channel officially has its own Amazon storefront now. You can pick up a comic or anything else for that matter, and if you did, you'd really be helping me in the channel. So with that out of the way everyone, I will see you again next time, Bye bye